Yo, what's going on guys? This is Zero from Celtic Heroes Zero, and I will be bringing you the ultimate leveling guide for low tier levels and beginning to go on to medium tier like levels as well. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this uh, leveling guide and yeah, just send some feedback on it. And yeah, see you guys in the video. Alright, so this is very basic right here. Um, all you really want to do is that when you first log on to CH, you're going to be talking to Brennan the Mighty, and that will be the start off of your starting quests. And starting quests will get you a long way. Um, the new update, they featured more gold in the starting quest, so you'll be receiving more gold and stuff. And yeah, just they improved it a lot, so uh, just for lower levels to get the right amount of experience that they need to keep going on in their world so i want to say um maybe around like level 30 ish 20 ish you should be here by now um Sh shamlet ravine you're basically just still keep completing the starting quests um and defeating like all the enemies that you really need and these quests can be the most annoying out of all of them but yet again this gives you a lot of xp to move on to your next tier and level so um yeah i really recommend you guys do this and if not um you guys can buy a couple of xps on the way that may help you succeed better while uh, defeating some of these enemies so yeah all right guys so once you get to stonevale it starts getting really really tricky because starting quests start to fade out there's not as much and it more relies on you buying xps and regens to uh, help you level so um really uh you have to become i think a level 53 or no maybe maybe i'm wrong 57 i think i don't know don't give me don't quote me on any of these levels but you have to talk to tam lin and he is one of the last people to uh talk to for the starting quests but in the meantime, you will most likely want to get to Otherworld, which is a basically a requirement due to uh, the enemies that you need to train are there. Because um, there is kind of a gap between Karamor's starting levels at 90 and Otherworld's starting levels at 80. So once you're like level 80, you kind of want to focus on the eyes mostly, I would want to say. To get to the Otherworld, you really need to talk to Brandis the Mad he will support you through your way. You just gotta defeat these guys that uh, vary in, uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna assume that the first one will start at uh, Crookback Hollow. It's one of the lower level places. You won't see much high levels in there, uh, except Bonehead, of course, but he's a uh, kind of a common boss. Um, then next you probably wanna travel to Lur's Reach, then Dust Wither Catacombs, uh, Shamlet Ravine. There's two in Shamlet, by the way, so don't get mistaken. And the last one is uh, in Stonevale. So, um, yeah, after that, you really want to go to the other world then. You will be have access after you talk to him every single time you defeat one of those uh, uh, freaking more just looking dudes. I don't know how else to explain, but yeah. I mean, Otherworld's a huge place to train. That's where you really want to start leveling once you get to level 80, but... So let's take a step back. All right, so when you're like level 50 or so and you're at Stonevale, you really want to start looking at the boars and the imps. Well, the starting out imps, as you can see, this guy right here, level 45. You want to really start focusing on the level 51 imps over here, trying to like level up, train, get XPs. And then you could start moving on to more of a deeper northern woods. That includes these level 53 imps, uh, 55 boars, uh, 57, you know, 56. Just a really good place to train, and plus you gotta watch him for Gore Tusk because he's also another common tier boss. All right, and another side note is that you could also start tra training by the fairies. Like these are more like difficult because you have the myth fence to, to uh, deal with, which. Uh, they uh, cast energy shield and it's it, it's such an annoying skill. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, it's so frustrating for me, but yeah, you can start training here 
as well. But just let me warn you that these will start getting more difficult as you go on. So that leads me on to level 60s. Once you hit like level 60s from, you know, like trying to get off the level 55s or 57s, you know, uh, you can start going to level 62, 60s, you know, back here. But then also watch out for Fade Blades because those are four stars and stars really do make a difference in enemies' health and how much damage they deal to you. So just be warned about the stars like these are nothing like I could probably take them out not one hit because I don't have ice fire two minute and fire two minute is everything well maybe I did because I'm only level 90 30 levels higher than these nigers are but <laughs> yeah like I said just go down here but then uh, once you get past here you're gonna really start looking at the like more like level 62 type feel where I see a lot of people are stuck on and no need to feel discouraged. Just buy some XPs, come over here, try to get past those noobs, you don't need them anymore. Uh, I got some pretty easy ones, except I run into a four star, of course, the first one. Uh, you will sometimes see these as respawners, um, but you could really easily take them out if you really try to get up your health and stuff like that. Just have full stats ready, don't have like half health or anything if you're not a Lux noob like I was when I was at this level. but. Now I am. But yeah, look at this perfect leveling thing right here. You are at level 65s and 64s. I mean, this is a perfect place to level. I mean, what else can you ask for? So after that, you're gonna come on to the bears. Like this path is like the training alley to success. Here's the alley to success. Go through here. And then you go up into this row and you go down there. Then you're going to be leading, leading into the alleys of Stonevale, which include bears, level 67s. So once you get off 66, like this guy's probably training over here. Nah, it's not, but still. Level 69 bears, uh, they range from 67 to 75. So, I mean, it's a pretty good deal for XPs if you're leveling in this area. It's a beautiful place to train. I trained here. And I got off level 60 and went on to 70 in like no time just from buying XPs and regions because you don't want to have your health really slow you down because that will not help you level it off. You're just waiting for your health to get up after like a minute after each like enemy that you kill. All right, I cannot trust you guys enough how important this area is for it's such a big level group, but yet it includes mostly the same uh levels from like 70 to like 79 or something like that so like over in this area like down here you will see more of like uh imps and bears yeah imps usually and then um once you start getting here you're, you're gonna start seeing bears a lot a lot of bears like the middle of it and then where i am you will see like Druid sometimes because you're starting to get into the druid phase, which is over here by the other world uh, But these are more for people who are going on to 80 more towards people trying to get on to 75 So when you're getting to level 80 try to go by the druids over here, which I will show you right now So like right here, it's level 87. You gotta watch it for those But these guys right here you really start training on to get to work your way to level 80 But yeah, I mean yeah, you just go up here, you're golden. You get through all those when you're like 80. See, it's a perfect leveling for level 80 if you're trying to get there, which is a huge milestone. And then that will lead you to the other world. And the other world is, like I said before, a huge place to train. It's almost essential to get this place unlocked when you can. But even though I got mine a little bit late, it's more easier to do it than when you're like level 25 and trying to do it because you have to wait five levels and you're it just it's overwhelming waiting for it so i just rather do it when you're like level 70 or 65 when you get to the uh, other world because you're not going to be training on level 80s when you're 60 when you're level 65 it makes no sense but yeah when you're level 80 train on the evil eyes uh beautiful place to train uh that's what i was that's what i've been doing this whole time like trying to get to level 90 and then yeah so 82s, perfect, 82, 82, 84 I think, yeah, 83s, 
And then you start getting on level 91s, which is a huge step forward. But yeah, I think, uh, oh yeah, you could start moving on to the level 85s, which include the greener type eyes, or like the turquoise, yeah. But yeah, the level vile, the level 85 villigant vile eyes, um, yet again, another easy mob to take down, I mean, like sometimes you'll find some three stars in there, but that's not, like, not really important to, you know, look at. And again, these things are not tough at all. All right, guys, so now we're moving on to the level 90s. So 90s is kind of, um, well, obviously the leveling gets harder and harder every level that you level up. Um, but 90s are pretty easy if you have a bunch of region lixes, which will help because, like I said before, you don't want to be waiting a minute after every single mob that attacks you and you kill. But uh, I like running this route. I'm going to replicated exactly so you come down to the 92s uh 93s it's most you up your season 93 by these spiders but you don't want to you want to avoid these because these are level 100s that could be for another day um but yeah so i just go over here kill all these kill that guy kill that one up there uh the level 160 event uh level 90 come over here if you want to come up there Frick that spider. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, man. Alright, frick those guys. But uh, like I said, just keep coming along here. Then you will eventually uh, end up back here where you started off over here. So yeah, um, by the time you got you like you kill those, uh, the respawning process should already be complete. And uh, yeah, they should be all up and ready for you to fight again so that's a really great way to farm xp from them and then once you start getting like away from the 93s like I'm like 91s 90s 92s 93s like me i'm on to like the 95s now and uh what i've been doing is that like here's a pro tip for you guys uh try to find like a druid your level or somebody that you could train with around your level like no less than like five levels away because you're just gonna be end up like leeching XP from them or something like that. I don't know, some weird. Um, so just find someone your level and then take out these level 95s over here, uh, like I've been doing kind of. But yeah, so the deeper you get, the obviously the more harder they're gonna get. So 95s, 95s, 96, 97, two stars. Uh, 98s, 99s, I mean, you could easily take out a 3 star level 99 or 98, 99, doesn't matter. You could easily take them out with uh, with uh, whoever you're training with easily. I mean, it's, it's simple. Just get someone to train with, train over here, you're golden. You'll be leveled up in no time, and that's where I'm stuck right now because I don't have anybody to train with. Yeah, I'm stuck at 93. But then the last thing I want to mention you guys for level 100 and above after you get like through the 90s 99 and stuff you want to look towards those uh, uh in other world like i said again it's a very essential place to train i keep losing connection for some reason i don't know what it is but like i was saying this is basically like the other world key to success for training it's like the alley of awesomeness as i like to call it because you could train here for a while i mean a while uh, here you probably complete 20 levels in this alley alone because like down here you have uh, the trees that lead up to around 119 at max uh, over here you got like the middle like the kelpies where, some, where swamp lord spawns and uh, yeah he's a big boss as well and uh, yeah level 109 kelpies and over here you will start meeting like 105 kelpies which could really help but like I said, the deeper you go, the more the level will rise, and that's basically all of the cures. Like the deeper you go into a world, like a an area, the level will rise, and uh, yeah. But yeah, you just want to keep on this path until you keep leveling up, leveling up. I mean, and then soon enough you'll be leveling at the golems and stuff like that. But that video is for another day when I when, once I get up there. But 
yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say today. It's just the ultimate leveling guide for a low to medium tier player. But if that helped at all, please leave a like, some feedback for us. Really appreciate that. I love all the support you guys have been giving us so far. It's been beautiful. I know I've mentioned this uh, earlier in the video, but uh, another pro tip is going for bounty boards. There's my, my cat in the background if you don't hear him. He's over there meowing like a little Niger. But, oh my gosh, stop. Uh, but another pro tip is that the bounty board, uh, if you could do that daily, every, once it hits 12 o'clock midnight every night, you could do those. And then also your uh, gladiator could be done as well at the arena entrance. You just go here, uh, go to this chick over here, and then you should uh, be able to get his quest every night at midnight again, which could lead you to, depends on what level you are, but could lead you to get a lot of XP. So, I mean, it's really worth it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace.